The city is an area of London I tend to avoid. Greed and venality hang in the air like chemtrails, poisoning your soul and leaving you feeling unwashed. A bit like a shill BBC reporter. The annual sculpture in the city exhibition, however, necessitates the wander southeast from King's Cross Station. While filming footage of the Sculpture in the City 2015 exhibition, I stumbled upon the lovely Leadenhall Market. There's been a market on the site as far back as the 14th century, but it's the 19th century construction we're going to have a quick look at. Before jumping to the 19th century though, here's a 1720 plan of the market's extension and improvements. The extension and improvements were for the structure built to replace the perished market caused by the 1666 Great Fire of London and was created around three large courtyards selling beef, lamb and mutton and herbs. Leadenhall Market was designed by Horace Jones who also designed Smithfields and Billingsgate Markets. The cornerstone was laid in a ceremony officiated by H.A. Isaacs, Chairman of the Markets Committee, on June 28, 1881. Built to loosely form the shape of a cross, housing 29 shops with each of the four gangways measuring 30 feet in width, the market covers an area of about 26,900 square feet. The shape is not a perfect cross, as construction had to follow the medieval rites of way. At the centre is an octagonal crossing with a pitched roof and lantern supported by giant ionic cast iron columns. Well lighted and ventilated basements provided storage for provisions. Access is obtained in the north from New Street, east from Lime Street Passage, south from the side of the old gangway of Leaden Hill Market through Beehive Passage and westwards from Gracechurch Street. The principal entrance is Gracechurch Street in the west and it, like the other three entrances, remains always open without the hindrance of gates. Gracechurch Street is a double height entrance flanked by tall, narrow gabled, red brick and Portland stone blocks in a 17th century Dutch style. It also bears the City of London coat of arms with its no doubt Masonic connotations. Construction cost was estimated at £50,000 but ended up almost double at £99,000 with the creation of suitable approaches to such a congested area adding a further £148,000. It opened in 1882. Leadenhall Market possessed a cold store, which was one of the first constructed in London. Poultry, game and wildfowl were mainstays of the market, and this 1914 Times article illustrates the importance of cold storage. The Times, Monday, June 8th, 1914. Game and wildfowl, of course, have their close seasons in this country, but with the assistance of cold storage and quicker transit, a full supply of foreign produce is almost always available. Capercaillie, black game, ptarmigan, hazel hens, partridges and pheasants begin to arrive in the early spring from Norway, Sweden, Austria, Russia and Finland, while Italy is one of the principal producers of guinea fowl and pigeons which reach the London market. With the steadily increasing demand, the continent is ransacked for all kinds of delicacies. Note ducklings, goslings, poulard and petit poussin are disposed of in great numbers. Indeed, the demand for petit poussin has so increased 
that many people in this country are now competing with continental producers in supplying the market and find it very lucrative indeed. A 1972 article reported the market was under threat by plans to rebuild the market on stills to preserve the Roman Basilica underneath. The Times, Tuesday, April 11th, 1972. Proposals for preserving a Roman Basilica under the City of London's Leadenhall Market by redeveloping the site on stilts brought pained and in some cases angry responses yesterday. A member of the Victorian Society commented, never mind about the building that was once there and is now buried, what about the splendid market building that's there now? That's what we must preserve. That view is likely to be supported by the Victorian Society officially and the GLC's Historic Buildings Board. The board's officials have long regarded Leadenhall Market as a rare and attractive survival well worth preserving. The building isn't listed as of historical or architectural interest. Leadenhall Market demonstrates how conservation can mean different things to different interests, in this case archaeologists and preservationists of old buildings. Both have reason to feel dissatisfied with the respect shown to history by a development-minded city corporation. Two months later, on June the 5th, 1972, Leadenhall Market gained Class 2 listed status and the threat was banished. Richard Rogers' 1986 £163 million Lloyds Insurance building added access to the market via a new alleyway from Leadenhall Street. This was Lloyds' fourth new headquarters in 60 years, and with floor space at £300 per square foot, it was the most expensive new building in Britain. There's money in insurance, eh? 1990-91 saw the market undergo extensive redecoration, which teeters on the Gordy. Talking of Gordy, Erasure filmed the video for their Love to Hate You single in Leadenhall Market. Unfortunately, it was shot in 1991 after the redecoration. It would have been nice to have viewed pre-decoration footage. You can see for yourself, as Love to Hate You is the bonus track in this video's description. The market is open weekdays 10am to 6pm, but the thoroughfares usually have 24 hour access.